Hello students of grade 11. Today's lesson will be on adverbs and will be based on the revision point on page 38 in your pupil's book in unit 4. Let's see what has been said about adverbs in your revision point. Adverbs describe action. So an adverb is a word that modifies or describes a verb. An adjective, another adverb, or even a whole sentence. Adverbs often end in ly, but some look exactly the same as their adjective counterparts. For example, we can say badly, fortunately, silently, quickly. It's actually very easy to identify adverbs that end with ly. Adverbs often modify verbs. This means that they describe the way an action is happening. Shantha sings loudly. My cat waits impatiently for its food. I will seriously consider your suggestion. The adverbs in each of these sentences answer the question, in what manner? How does Shantha sing? Loudly. How does my cat wait? Impatiently. How will I consider your suggestion? Seriously. Adverbs can also modify adjectives and other adverbs. Often, the purpose of the adverb is to add a degree of intensity to the adjective. The boy is quite intelligent. This book is more interesting than the last one. The weather report is almost always right. The adverb almost is modifying the adverb always and they're both modifying right. Let's look at some other examples too. Is my singing too loud? Asked Tanya. My cat is incredibly happy to have his dinner. We will be slightly late to the meeting. My father's shirt is very unflattering. You can also use an adverb to describe another adverb. In fact, if you wanted to, you could use several adverbs. Today is fabulously, wonderfully, amazingly bright. The problem that is it often produces weak and clunky sentences like the one on the screen. So be careful not to overdo it. Some adverbs can modify entire sentences. These are known as sentence adverbs. Common ones include generally, fortunately, interestingly, and accordingly. Sentence adverbs don't describe one particular thing in the sentence. Instead, they describe a general feeling about all of the information in the sentence. Fortunately, we received the letter yesterday. Interestingly, no one at school was without a face mask. Like adjectives, adverbs can show degrees of comparison, although it's slightly less common to use them this way. To make the comparative form of an adverb that ends in ly, add the word more. He smiled more warmly than the others. The more hastily written note contained the clue. To make the superlative form of an adverb that ends in ly, add the word most. He smiled most warmly of them all. The most hastily written note on the desk was overlooked. Although many adverbs end with ly, lots do not. For example, fast, never, well, very, most, least, more, less, now, far, there. In real life sentences, lots of adverbs are phrases or clauses, not single words. Let's look at this image. As you can see in the first column, there is the single word adverb quickly. In the second column, the adverbial phrase soon as possible is given. And in the third column, the adverbial clause before the market closes is given. Let's look at some types of adverbs. When an adverb modifies a verb, it can often be categorized in this manner. Adverb of manner, how. 
An adverb of manner tells us how an action occurs. The lion crawled stealthily. Will you come quietly down the stairs? Adverbs of time and frequency. When and how often. An adverb of time tells us when an action occurs or how often. I tell him daily. What you plant now, you will harvest later. Adverbs of time that tell us how often something occurs are also known as adverbs of frequency. Adverb of place, where. An adverb of place tells us where an action occurs. I did not put it there. You can get it everywhere. Adverb of degree, also referred to as adverb of comparison. How much? An adverb of degree tells us to what degree an action occurs. He works smarter. I work harder, closer to the exam. So where do we place an adverb? Place adverbs as close as possible to the words they are supposed to modify. Putting the adverb in the wrong spot can produce an awkward sentence at best and completely change the meaning at worst. Be especially careful about the word only, which is one of the most often misplaced modifiers. Consider the difference between these two sentences. Suranga only fed the cat. Suranga fed only the cat. There are two different meanings here. The first sentence means that all Suranga did was feed the cat. He didn't pet the cat or pick it up or anything else. The second sentence means that Suranga fed the cat, but he didn't feed the dog, the bird or anyone else who might have been around. When an adverb is modifying a verb phrase, the most natural place for the adverb is usually the middle of the phrase. We are quickly approaching the highway. Someone has always loved singing. I will happily help you with your homework. With anything, it is important that you avoid using too many adverbs. It is impossible to avoid adverbs altogether, but we can be sure not to overuse them in a sentence. The trick is to avoid unnecessary use of adverbs. Let's now revert back to your pupil's book. Look at the examples given. A lot of people have the habit of throwing polythene bags carelessly. It's a pleasure to be here. Our topic today is polythene and environment. We usually eat rice and curry for dinner. I'm extremely sorry for the delay. Let's now look at activity 3 of unit 4 on page 38. Let's do it together. The words underlined in these sentences are used incorrectly. Rewrite the sentences correctly. Plants grow quickly in rich soil. Some factories discharge their waste directly into water bodies. I usually use recycled paper for my greeting cards. Our project was successful because everybody worked efficiently. Awareness programs on public health should be conducted regularly. That was easy, wasn't it? You should now be very confident with the use of adverbs. Thank you for watching this lesson and if you want to watch more like the one that you just saw, please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye and see you soon.